hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's topic i'll be telling you the different ways in which you can prevent pregnancy i'll be telling you the different kind of contraceptive methods you can use to prevent pregnancy if you don't want to get pregnant so if you are probably watching this video definitely you are looking for a way in which you can prevent pregnancy or maybe you have given birth and you want to have some break within a certain period so you are looking for the best kind of contraceptive to use so all of that i'm going to be telling you in this video the best one to use and the different types and their advantages and disadvantages so stay tuned my name is Ney Yvonne if this is your first time watching me don't forget to like subscribe and turn on your notification bell and one thing also please kindly share the video so that others can also see them there might be others out there who are looking for videos like this in order to make the best decision for themselves in order to know the best type of contraceptive to use so please kindly share the video and just stay tuned and i'll be telling you everything you need to know right here in this video okay welcome back guys so the first contraceptive method i'll be telling you will be the pull out method some people call it the withdrawal method so this method definitely when you are having sexual intercourse with your partner and when it's about the time of you to ejaculate like to release sperm out you pull out the penis in order not to release sperm inside the vagina so this method it's also good but it's not really that effective because it's just 27 percent there are times before you pull out your penis you might have released pre-com already inside the vagina and for some people they don't just want to go just one round some people they want to go two three so when you get in again the second time before when you start some of those sperm that way still in your penis will leak out into the vagina so this method it's really not effective it's just 27 percent and most at times also it's difficult at the end of the day many people they find it very difficult to pull out the penis and release the sperm outside so this is the first method you can help prevent pregnancy and you can rely on this method okay let's go now to the second method I will take it from the least effective to the more effective one so the least effective on my list was the pull out and the withdrawal method so the second method I'm going to be telling you is the use of spermicide this spermicide like if you get from the name the spermicide helps to kill sperm so with this spermicide some people go to the pharmacies or to some shops around they sell them it's always in the form of gelic form so you go there and you buy this spermicide and you apply it maybe on your penis or maybe at the entrance of the vagina in order for it to kill the sperm once it's released so most of the time this spermicide method is usually maybe 60 to 70 percent so it's not still really effective so it might kill the sperm or it kills the sperm it makes the sperm to be weak so you will not definitely get pregnant so if you are using this method you need to also know the side effects that come with it that it's not really reliable it's not 90 or maybe 100 percent effective you can still get pregnant so the next method i'm going to tell you is the cervical cap method this one is just like a small kind of round cap like if you look here you can see the way it is with this one the lady instead is the one to use so she will insert it in her vagina it's going to block the cervix area so it prevents sperm from coming inside and passing through the cervix into the fallopian tube to fertilize the egg so with this most of times many people will use the cervical cap alongside with the spermicide so together the two can be very effective the probability of you getting pregnant with this one it's a little bit not too much so it's a 71 percent effective but most of times the the struggle with this one is that people find it difficult to insert it in case you don't place it correctly if it's not blocking the cervix correctly definitely sperm are going to find their way and they will flow through and fertilize that egg leading you to pregnancy so with this method you really need to know most of times when you buy it from the pharmacy or maybe for if, the, if it's been given to you by the doctor the doctor is going to tell you on how to really put it well and if you don't follow the correct procedure and if it's not being placed well definitely you are still going to get pregnant that's why with this one you need to know how to use it you need to know how to place it correctly and there is another one that is similar to this one this one is known as the diaphragm it's almost similar to the cervical cap this one is functioning the same way you place it also 
in the vagina towards the cervix to block the opening of the cervix so once it's been placed there it will prevent sperm also from passing through the cervix and going through to the fallopian tube in order to fertilize the egg so most of times to make this one more effective you can use this one also with the spermicide so together the spermicide is going to kill the sperm or make them very weak such a way that they cannot move through and if in case the sperm manage to still be alive definitely the diaphragm that is placed there to block that opening is going to prevent the sperm from passing through but still the disadvantage with this one is that you have to know how to place it correctly because if you don't place it correctly definitely you have not done anything so but if you use it together with the spermicide and you don't place it correctly maybe the spermicide can work in a way and will also help to prevent you because it's going to weaken the sperm but if you are just using it just on its own like that and it happens you never place it very well good luck definitely you are going to get pregnant <laughs> especially if you have sex during your fertile period so the fourth point i'll be talking about is for you to know your menstrual cycle for you to know when you are ovulating so if you can know your menstrual cycle length you know your ovulation day definitely you will know when to have sex in order to get pregnant and you will know when not to have sex because you will be able to know your fertile day your your precise ovulation day and also you will be able to know your safe days in order to avoid getting pregnant so that is another method in which you can use to prevent pregnancy but still this method is not 100 percent sure because for some people they have a lot of irregular menstrual cycle maybe this month it might come at a different time and also as a result of stress um, anxiety other factor might make your menstrual cycle not for it to be regular so with this method you cannot still rely on so the fifth method i'll be telling you about is the use of contraceptive pills this one is emergency contraceptive pills the word emergency is there for a reason meaning it's an emergency contraceptive pills is something you never plan for it an example for this is postinol 2 most of the times when you have sexual intercourse that you never plan for or maybe um you had it and maybe the condom got broken or something happened that you never planned you can easily go you get this drug and it's very effective but one thing you have to understand is that you have to take the drug at the right time so the earlier you take this drug the more effective it is so this drug works within a period of 72 hours that's three days from the time you have sexual intercourse and also the earlier you take this postinol too the better and more effective it's going to work don't have sex and then you take it after four days if you take it after four days the possibilities of you getting pregnant it's very high so that's why it's better for you to take it very early so it's going to work also very effective what this drug does is that it releases a hormone known as levergestrol into your system this hormone will make your cervical mucus to be very thick preventing the sperm from flowing through and meeting the egg i did a video regarding the cervical mucus so if you find it a little bit confusing or if you don't really know the function of the cervical mucus in the vagina please go and watch that video it's going to help you also to really understand how some of these contraceptive methods are working in your body because you should not just know like okay i want to take i want to use this method i want to use this method you should also know how these different contraceptives are actually working in your body so you know which one to choose best okay so the next one i'll be talking about is the use of condom yes condom is very effective because it helps to prevent you from not getting pregnant and it also help to prevent you from sexually transmitted disease remember most of the other methods i already listed and some of the methods i'm still going to list will not be able to prevent you from sexually transmitted infection so but with condom it has an advantage because it's going to prevent you from sexual transmitted infection but there is a problem with this condom many people they don't know how to use the condom you find some people maybe they were going to give their ladies to be the one to tear the paper and most of the times they have long nails any slight scratch in it it's going to burst the condom you want to protect yourself if there is a hole in it definitely 
sperm is still going to leak out so you have to make sure the way you tear the paper make sure you don't burst it or you don't scratch it so those are the things you have to put into consideration and also know there is a male condom and there is a female condom so for the male condom you have like 79 percent if it's been worn and used correctly and you also have a ladies condom which is about about 79 effective sorry for the male condom it's about 80 percent effective ladies condom 79 percent effective so if being worn correctly if the condom is not expired there is no leakage there is no hole in it definitely it's going to prevent you from unwanted pregnancy and also it's also going to prevent you from a sexual transmitted disease so that's an advantage of you using a condom as a means of contraceptive in order to prevent pregnancy so the next i'll be talking about it's implant yes i know many girls especially the teenagers now the those that just approach puberty and the rest you always find some people with a kind of a metallic implant or a kind of mark on the arm so for this implant it's a matter that is buried in your arm so once it's been buried there it releases hormone gradually in your body so as it's releasing this hormone this hormone they are affecting your ovulation it's affecting your menstrual cycle and then preventing you from getting pregnant so it alters your ovulation your menstrual cycle making also your cervical mucus to be very thick preventing um, sperm from flowing through you know one of the the things that makes sperm to move faster and fertilize the egg is if you have good cervical mucus that slimy cervical mucus it makes it favorable for the sperm so most of this hormone when you when you they implant it it release hormone in your body this hormone they go now and they change the texture of that your cervical mucus making it very difficult for sperm to move through it also alters your ovulation making it difficult for you to um, get pregnant so all of this will help prevent you from getting pregnant for this implant it usually lasts for five years once you bury it in your arm you can last with it for five years so gradually you keep releasing the hormones in your system and this implant it's 99 percent effective but let me tell you something for some individuals now they tend to have a lot of adverse effect of this implant for some people they tend to have breast tenderness they tend to have nausea they are vomiting they have headache and at times they have a very painful menstrual period during your menstrual period they have a lot of cramp it's painful so that is why you have to know your body you consult with the doctor so the doctor is going to be the one to choose what is best for you or the doctor is going to be the one to tell you which of these different contraceptive you should take but most of the times with this implant when you take it you will be having the symptoms but over some time they might subside so at the beginning of it you'll be having a lot of these symptoms nausea headache breast tenderness um, abdominal pain but as time is passing by these symptoms are subsiding so it's not really that bad so you can also try this one it's effective 99 percent effective also it can last for five years so this is a good option someone can also try so the next i'll be talking about is the intrauterine device so there are two types you have the one made up of copper and you have the hormonal intrauterine device so this one is very effective the one with copper the intrauterine device which is a copper it's actually like of a t-shape so at times copper wire it's also made the one with copper intrauterine device this copper makes the sperm weaker it kills the sperm it will make the sperm weaker and also with this you have a 99 percent chance of protection so this is very effective and with this intrauterine device you can use this method for a duration of 10 years so it takes a very long time but if you don't want to stay with it for this long you can equally take it off if you feel like you want to get pregnant or maybe you want to have a baby so you can take it off but the duration of this one it lasts for a period of 10 years and how does this intrauterine device work this copper metal which is attached to that t-shaped structure it's going to make the sperm to be weaker the copper has a negative effect to the sperm it's going to make the sperm to be weaker it's going to 
kill some of the sperm and also it's going to affect your ovulation it's going to affect your cervical mucus making your cervical mucus very thick so with all of this it's going to prevent pregnancy or prevent you from easily getting pregnant because with this it's a 99 percent success rate it's very effective but now the disadvantage that comes with this is that every month you need to be checking it it's a t-shaped structure that comes out with a little bit of string at the end every month you have to be checking it and making sure that string is still there because i've had a situation where some people have been saying that the string got cut and they never realized it and if it gets cut this day the thing is going to swim into your fallopian tube so that's why you have to take note to check to make sure the string is still there and everything is intact and then the second disadvantage with it is that this one has to be done by a medical professional so it's a medical professional that is going to insert this in you so when that is being done for some people they have a lot of cramps they have heavy bleeding within the first period all of those discomfort they will subside as time goes by so but if it happens that for you it doesn't change and you keep having heavy bleeding cramps during your menstrual period you should equally check with the doctor so this method is also very effective then okay so you have the copper intrauterine device and you also have the hormonal intrauterine device for the hormonal intrauterine device it helps to thicken the cervical mucus making it unfavorable for the sperm to flow through and it also it stops ovulation from taking place so you cannot get pregnant if ovulation does not take place so and then it helps also to kill the sperm and make the sperm weaker so preventing the sperm from easily fertilizing the egg with this hormonal intrauterine device it can last for up to five years and also with this it's also 99 percent effective the success rate for this is very high so using this also it's very effective and uh, one thing you have to take note is that this one has to be inserted by a healthcare professional so don't go and try to get that and think you can insert that on your own no it's supposed to be done by a healthcare professional so the next i'll be talking about is the injectable contraceptive pills you know now our days many people you can go to the hospital and you request for an injectable contraceptive pills but one thing you have to understand is that always check with your healthcare professional because something might be good for another person and for you it might not be good for you so the disadvantage with this one this one has a 99 percent success rate but one thing you have to understand which comes with the disadvantage is that every after three months you have to go for this injection because it can only last for a duration of three months so every after three months you have to go again for another dose of injection and usually when you do the injection you, for the first time at times the side effect is that for some people they'll have breast tenderness they will be vomiting they'll be feeling dizzy they will have maybe no period at times your period might become irregular but as time goes by these symptoms are going to subside in case they don't subside you need to see your healthcare professional most of times this injection is being done intramuscularly an example of this injectable contraceptive is depo provera so many people have been taking it and then i've also realized some people when they take this depo provera after some period when they want to maybe have a baby we always encounter is that they find it difficult for their menstrual period to come back most of the times it takes a lot of time for some individuals it's going to take more than three months so it's not like other contraceptive pills that once you are taking them maybe when you stop maybe your menstrual cycle is going to come after three or four weeks normally when you stop contraceptive your period is supposed to come after three or four weeks but with this injectable depot provera most of the times your menstrual period might take two months three months for some people it varies a lot it's not usually stable so they find it difficult for their period to come back and even when it comes back it's irregular for some period so if you find this after you have taken this injectable contraceptive pills please kindly visit the doctor so the doctor can check on you and do some analysis and run some tests on you so please let's go to the next one so the next one on my list is contraceptic pills remember i gave another one earlier which was emergency contraceptive pills but this one is just contraceptic pills it's usually a small tablet they are very tiny the disadvantage with this one is that you have to be taking it daily and you have to be taking it on the same time 
daily so for example let's say you took it at 8 a.m today in the morning the next day you still have to take this same drug 8 a.m if you deviate the timing it might not work and you will equally get pregnant so with this kind of contraceptic it's a small drug and it's 99 percent effective so you have to take it daily and the advantage with this one is that it's going to make your cervical mucus to be thick preventing sperm from going through when you have sexual intercourse it's going to stop your ovulation it's going to reduce your risk of having ovarian cancer and the disadvantage is that maybe you might have irregular menstrual period it's going to stop completely your menstrual period so all of this you have to take note when you are going for these contraceptive pills and you have a 99 percent success rate with this one are you someone who is conscious with timing conscious of doing things daily you can go for this one it's good but if you know you're that kind of a person that you're not conscious you're not time conscious today you do something and the next day you forget to do don't go for it because you have to take it daily and you have to take it on the same timing for it to be effective the next i'll be talking about is the use of contraceptic patch this is a patch in which you apply it on your skin so it's going to save as a means of contraceptive preventing you from getting pregnant this one also is 99 percent success rate so if you want to take this one you need to know how to use it this is a patch you have to apply it on your skin but most of the times before you apply it make sure the area is clean and free of hair you need to shave the area then you apply it there so you have to apply this patch weekly so if you apply it today you wait after one week you have to apply another patch and after another week you have to apply it so you apply it weekly for a period of three weeks then one week you have to be with no patch so that's how you do it this one is 99 percent effective but one thing you have to understand about this patch is that it causes a lot of irritation on some people's skin so that's why it's always advisable if you want to go for this patch contraceptive you have to be changing the position for example you can apply it on your arm next week you can apply it on your stomach another week maybe on your buttocks just like that just keep changing you can also apply it on your back so it's good to be changing the position so that you limit yourself from that skin irritation but this one it's good because it's weekly it's not like the other one you have to be taking it daily so with this you can take it you apply it weekly and then you have one week free then you commence back again so you apply it weekly for three weeks consecutively make sure you don't miss a week because if you mix a week definitely you are going to get pregnant so with this there is a 99 percent success rate and one other disadvantage many people don't like this patch is that it's visible for example if you apply the patch on your arm everybody is going to be seeing it if you put it on your stomach and you take your your cloth up definitely people are going to see it and also with the irritation it causes on the skin but the good part is that it's 99 percent effective in case you follow the instruction and you use it correctly so the next i'll be talking about is the sterilization method under the sterilization method you have bilateral tubal ligation so what do i mean by this this one it's very effective but the issue is that are you ready to take this because at times with this one there is no reverser so with this one there is a clamp they go to the fallopian tube you know fertilization takes place in the fallopian tube when your egg is being released from your ovary it comes to your fallopian tube and it stays there and wait for the sperm to come and fertilize the egg so what the doctors will do is that they go and then they clamp that fallopian tube area they clamp this side clamp is bilateral so they clamp both sides when they clamp that both sides for some people they cut it completely but most of the times the doctors they always advise to clamp it because if you cut it completely there is no going back so most of the times they will advise you to they will clamp it or maybe they will just tie the two tubes so once that is being done in case you have sexual intercourse and sperm comes up the sperm will not be able to pass through the fallopian tube to meet the egg and fertilize there are some sperms that they are going to struggle to pass through that clamp fallopian tube and if that happens they go and fertilize the egg definitely the egg cannot come down and implant itself in the uterus because the fallopian tube has been blocked instead of it coming down and implanting itself in the uterus it stays and implant in the fallopian tube 
leading to a situation of ectopic pregnancy so but this kind of situation is very very rare but it still happens in most cases you will hardly find this kind of situation so this method it's very effective like 99 percent effective because it completely blocks the tube preventing the sperm from moving through and fertilizing the egg for the women they do bilateral tubal ligation for the men they will do vasectomy so in this vasectomy in men the doctor is going to check them and analyze them and definitely cut that tube that carries sperm so once the tube is being cut know that you can still get a lady pregnant for you to avoid that you need to wait for a period of three months or if you are having sex make sure you use protection because within that period of three months you can still get a lady pregnant so once the tube is cut you wait for a period of three months it's 99 percent effective and also this method is reversal like if you want to connect it back together you can go to the hospital and the doctor is going to connect back that tube and everything is going to go back to normal so it's not something that is like permanent so i'm going to give you two bonus other method that you can use it as a contraceptive there is another method which is known as the sponge method you just take a little bit of sponge most of the time people you can get that from the pharmacy or maybe being given to by the doctor so you take that and you insert it in your vagina so once you insert it it prevents sperm from passing through your cervix and going to the fallopian tube and fertilizing the egg with this you have a success rate of 76 percent to 78 percent another method thought is the vagina ring there is a vagina ring and um, you can check here you'll see the picture with this vagina ring you insert it in your vagina so this ring will help prevent sperm also from passing through the cervix and getting into the fallopian tube but most of times for the methods that i've explained that requires the sponge the vagina ring the diaphragm the cervical cap you need to know how to insert them correctly because if not being inserted correctly, definitely you are going to get pregnant. And for something like the diaphragm method I explained earlier long, before sexual intercourse, you need to insert it six hours before sexual intercourse. And after sexual intercourse, you can take it off 24 hours after sexual intercourse. So there is a lot of procedure before you, you insert it and after you insert it. So there are a lot of things you have to do within. So that makes it very uncomfortable okay and the last and the most effective on my list is abstinence but let me ask you can you actually do abstinence that is the problem so abstinence is the most reliable method so with abstinence you have to stay away from having sex so if you can do that and if you can maintain that rule definitely you will not get pregnant so that's the most effective and the most safe method so abstinence is the best and with abstinence it's going to prevent you from sexual transmitted infection and it's also going to prevent you from not getting pregnant but the issue is that can you do abstinence if you can do abstinence then that is the best method you can do then one thing i have to tell you is that they are only two methods that can prevent you from sexually transmitted infection the first method is condom so condom is the one that will prevent you from not getting pregnant and also it's going to prevent you from sexually transmitted infection and also the very last one is abstinence if you do abstinence if you follow abstinence definitely you're going to be free from sexual transmitted infection so these are the points i've listed if you're a breastfeeding mother or if you are done having your babies or if you're a young lady you want to choose which method you want to use for contraceptive please make sure you kindly watch these videos and with all of these you are going to decide which method is best for you then you can book an appointment with the doctor and the doctor is going to confirm which method is definitely best for you so don't look at your neighbor or your friend or maybe your sister or maybe your mother she's using a particular contraceptive method and you just go there and you follow the method no your body might not be best for that one or maybe due to the length of period you want to stay without having baby that method might not be favorable for you so you need to know which one is best for you and the most important thing is that if you are in a relationship or if you are married 
make sure you always discuss this with your husband you two should discuss and decide which method you want to do before going in for this okay love you all and if you have been watching right up to this point without clicking the like button or without subscribing or without sharing this video please kindly share the video so others can also gain from this knowledge stay safe and remember i love you all ciao